Hey guys, what's going on? This is Chris from Weebly Tricks, and today I'm going to show you how to add uh, social media icons to the header of Weebly's uh, Cento theme. Uh, this video tutorial will follow the written step-by-step -step tutorial that can be found on Weebly Tricks, and I will post a link to that written step-by-step -step tutorial in the description of this video. Okay, now with this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add Weebly's social media icons element to the header of Weebly's free theme Cento. And at the end of the, tu the tutorial, I will show you how to add those, have those same social media icons appear in the uh, navigation menu for the mobile version of this theme. Okay. So this is the demo site we'll be using, and this demo site uh, is using uh, Weebly's free theme Cento. Okay. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to move the navigation menu to the left here, and we're going to install the social media icons element to the right. Okay, let's get started. Step one, open Weebly's HTML CSS editor. Back to the Weebly editor here. On the, uh, at the top, click on theme, and on the bottom left, click on edit HTML forward slash CSS. That will give us access to Weebly's HTML CSS editor. Step two, add HTML code. Copy the orange HTML code that's provided in the written tutorial back to the Weebly editor. On the left here, under header type, click on header.html. We're going to look for the white uh, menu mustache code, which is located right here. And we're going to make some space. And we're going to paste in the HTML code that we just copied from the written tutorial directly below this code. OK. Step three, add CSS coding. So copy the CSS coding that's provided in the written tutorial back to the Weebly editor. Under styles, click on main.less, and we're going to search for the navigation coding that came with this theme. And it looks like we're going to have to manually search for it. And it's right here. It's identifiable by this faded uh, gray navigation title here. Make some space, and we're going to paste in the CSS coding that we copied from the written tutorial into this CSS file. Okay. Step four, alter CSS code. Now we need to look for this CSS class dot nav, and we need to change its text alignment from center to left. Back to the weekly editor. And it is right here. It's actually directly below the CSS code that we just added from the written tutorial. Uh, we're going to change this text alignment from center to the left. And we're going to click Save. Step five, add social media links. Back to the loop editor. OK, and as you can see, the navigation menu has moved to the left and the social media icons element appears on the right here. Now, just on a side note, don't worry that the social media icons don't appear all the way to the right um, in the way that, uh, in the position that they should be. Um, once you add the social, your, once you add your social media icon links uh, and you publish the site, the browser will interpret the CSS coding that we added from step three correctly, and the social media icons will move to the right in the area that they're supposed to be in. So let's add some test social media icon links here. LinkedIn, and you can mail me at username test. Just kidding, don't do that. Uh, publish and the live site. All right, as you can see, the navigation menu is here on the left, and these social media icons have moved to the right in the position that they're supposed to be in. Now you can stop here, you can be done. Um, but if you would like these same social media icons to appear in the uh, navigation menu, of the mobile version of this theme, I will show you how to do that now. Because actually, if you see right now, um, here's the mobile navigation of this theme. And the social media icons do not appear. But we're going to put in some coding that's going to allow those same social media icons to appear directly beneath this last contact, the contact uh, menu item here. So, OK, back to the tutorial. OK, under tips and additional information, we're going to copy this uh, orange HTML code that's provided back to the Weebly editor. 
theme at the top, click on edit HTML forward slash CSS on the bottom. Under header type, click on header.html. Scroll down to find the second white menu mustache code, which is at the bottom. Okay, we're going to reposition this code to make room for the HTML code that we're going to add to. Okay, we're going to paste the HTML code that we copied from the written tutorial in here. Okay. And the second part of this is we're going to copy this orange CSS code and we're going to paste it into the CSS code that we added from step three of this tutorial preview, um, shortly before. Um, so back to the Weebly editor. Under styles, click on main.less. We're going to look for the CSS coding that we added from step three, which is right here. Okay, and I'm going to paste this right in here. And we're going to make that look nice. Okay, I will click save. Publish the site. Okay, and now when I refresh the site, um, the social media icons should appear um, in the desktop version here in the top right, but they should also now appear in the mobile navigation. So I'm going to refresh this. Okay, as you can see, the social media icons still appear here on the right. And now when I minimize this to recreate the screen size of a mobile device, I click on the navigation menu, and there they are. The social media icons appear directly below that last uh, parent menu item. All right, guys, so that is how you add social media icons to the header of Weebly's Cento theme.